know I haven't been on in a while. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, Crystal <laughs> MacArthur. Um, so I'm in a new little area. So why don't you come along with me and I will show you my little soaping room. I have my own little soaping room dedicated to just my bath and body product production. It's not much, but it's the best I've ever had so far. I'm really like grateful for this opportunity to get back into creating beautiful body products again. I'm really nervous about it though because it's an oversaturated market and so far I've had a cold reception so I'm gonna try not to be bummed out about it. It's my passion. I can't help it. So let me take you for a little... Okay so this is like my microwave area and I got some tools here. You know, just, you know, in a little tea cart thing with some supplies, my gloves, and my glasses. You gotta be careful messing with the lie and some other things too. So here is my, oh, I don't know if you can see, yep. Here is my rack of stuff, and I have some soap curing. This is Kentucky bourbon with oud. And the these in the back, those are my fairy fig with brown sugar and fig and vanilla essential oil. I have some plain Janes going too. Let's see. Plain Janes. Coffee bars. And I don't know if you can see them. I don't know if the light. Those are berry magic. Um, let's see. What else do I have going? I think that's pretty much. Oh! The Halloween bars, I kind of have to wait a little bit. They're a little soft. Um, yeah, but I can kind of give you a sneak peek. I'm going to wait to cut the rest of them. They were a little mm, not quite ready yet because I'm impatient. But here's my work. Oh, my gosh, I got a mess. Sorry about that. <laughs> I thought I cleaned up before doing the video. <laughs> I got some... Lavender buds, lavender, some goat milk, some colloidal oatmeal, oils, fragrance oils. It's not a lot. I'm not like Katie at Royalty Soaps or anything, or Ophelia Soapery, or Gypsy Faye at all. I'm not like any of those. I'm really just starting over again, and it's been three years since I've made soap, so... I don't know. I think I'm crazy for trying to do this again. I really do. Um, oh, and the Halloween bars. Can you see them? Wait, let's see. Yep, these are the Halloween bars. Let's see. Yeah. They're really pretty, but they're kind of soft, so I'm going to let them sit there for a little bit. And I'm hoping to release um, most of everything that I made um, come Halloween day will be my release date. I will let you, go, you guys know, and I'm sorry I've been absent, but as you can see, I've been busy making stuff. So I got two more soaps I'm going to do. I'm going to do a pumpkin oatmeal lavender bar for the face, and then I'm going to do a pumpkin spice artisan bar that's just for fun and it just smells amazing. I'm using a pumpkin blend, which I'm very fortunate to get a hold of right now because they're all gone. <laughs> so I was very lucky to get my paws on at least a couple of um, fragrance oils. But yeah, this is, I mean, it's a pretty big space, to tell you the truth. Yeah. I know, right? Can you believe it? No, if I can only make some money off of it, because... I mean, I'm doing it because my passion, but I, d I would like to make some of my investment back for sure. I don't know if I'm going to or not, but um, maybe I'm just doing this for fun. I don't know. kind of don't really know what, you know, it's like, I like it, you know. It's my passion, I mean. But it's expensive. <laughs> Especially when you don't have capital like me and I can't really buy in bulk yet. 
if once I if I could buy in bulk, it'd be so much cheaper. Mm -hmm. You know, I could sell every bar for like five bucks a bar. You know. Instead, they're going to be like $10 for my low tops and like 15 for the big, big, chunky, like Halloween bars. And no deals on that. I'm sorry. Right now, there are no specials and no deals on it. Um, my prices will change if my business grows, but we'll, we'll just have to see. I don't know. I'm a little apprehensive, as you can tell. Oh my gosh, I can touch this one because it's mine. <laughs> oh, ah, that smells so good. Mm, I call it good wood. It's got oud in there mixed with Kentucky bourbon fragrance oil. Ooh, child, with the clays in there. Mm, I use black activated charcoal, red Brazilian clay. Um, what was the other color I used? Oh, the rest of it was just natural soap. And so the other like color that's white. That was just how the uh, fragrance oil went. Well, the lighting in here is terrible because it's much prettier. Y yeah, the camera's not picking up the detail on that. They're freaking beautiful. My fairy fig soaps. <laughs> yeah, can you tell it was the first soap I made in three years because... That fragrance oil gave me problems, let me tell you. But I made little cupcakes with some of the extras. The camera's not picking up how awesome these are, and the lighting in here isn't that great. So I don't have all the filming and all the fancy stuff. Sorry, guys. I'm, a... <sighs> I'm at the bottom, you know. Those coffee bars have coffee butter in them with this delicious coffee fragrance that I found. Ooh, girl. Mm, I, mm. So I'm excited. Um, but yeah, this is just wanted to give you a tour. It's not very big and it's not very fancy, but for me it is. To me it's special, you know, so. All right, well, get over to um, Milky Way Soul Tribe. I think Robert B's doing a show tonight. And I think a group of us is going to do a little uh, Milky Way Soul Tribe, I don't know, uh, tour. And come see everybody. Meet meet as many people as we can. I definitely want to go see Chris and Shrigio from over at Beyond the Veil. Um, I want to see Cajun Queen Tara. I want to go visit her. Go visit Milky's mom. I mean, we have to visit Milky's mom. Come on now. we got to go over there. And I'm in Tennessee already, so you got to go. But anyway... I guess that's it. They smell, I ain't gonna kid you, they smell like, you know, nerd candies with the cinnamon and some cinnamon pots? It smells like I wanna eat it, but I'll, I won't, I promise. But I gotta let them sit, chill out. You see, I'm in the middle of cutting and I had to kind of stop, like, everything stopped because it was like, it's not ready yet. <laughs> But this room is, it's pretty big. It's pretty, it's pretty big. For me, it's going to be perfect. All right, well, sorry I haven't been around in a while. As you see, I've been busy soaping, which I've been saying for three years now that I'd get back to it. Am I nervous about it? I ain't going to lie. I'm nervous. I got a lot done, though. But I have a lot more to do. So... I don't know. We'll see. Alright, you guys. Well, kiss the ones you love and be the frequency you wish to receive. I truly love you.